Hey, in this video we'll go through how Prolog processes compound queries and we'll try and keep it as simple as possible. So we've got a basic noise base here on the left which consists of three people and the series of drinks that they, that they like. So Alice likes three drinks and Mark likes two drinks and Sally likes one. So the best analogy that I can give is to relate this query back to prior programming languages that you've got experience in. This basically reads as a nested loop structure where this is the outer loop and this is the nested inner loop right here and it's basically saying for each person iterate through every drink that they like and print out their name and drink so for each person right we then iterate through every drink that they like until we find every drink that they like and we've printed out the results so we go dun, dun, done we found all Alice's drinks then we kick back and backtrack back up so we're back up here and then it's basically this stage it's like incrementing um, the loop counter and then kicking into the next um, element to or fact to evaluate and then it's like for every um, for every drink Mark likes iterate through his drinks done done and kick back and then prolog goes back here would increment the counter again um, to simulate uh, iteration and then it would go back to uh, continue on to Sally and then it would be like, okay, for every every drink Sally has, iterate. Okay, that's the only drink Sally likes. So then we kick back. But then Prolog has no more of the outer loop to process. So the outer loop ends, and therefore the whole thing ends. And eventually you end up with this. And you can sort of see this pattern because um, uh, for every for every name print out drink their drinks and Alice has she likes coke and then she likes Fanta and then she likes Sprite and then um, Prolog backtracks up and it finds Mark for every drink Mark likes print out what he likes Mark likes water then Mark likes coffee okay backtrack back up then we're back up to Sally Sally likes um, Pepsi no more drinks that Sally likes so then we backtrack back up but there's no more people so we're done and that's the simple list explanation I can give you um, and I tend to think of it like two nested loops in Java or something and this is basically essentially what I was saying for every person um, loop the outer loop loops however many people there are in the knowledge base and then for every person we loop through we start an inner loop and for however many drinks that that person has that's how many times we loop through the inner loop and then when the inner loop ends we go back up which increments i which consequently will bring us down to the next fact in the knowledge base that unifies with the goal and I've got this little table drawn up here and I guess I'd just like to demonstrate one thing that is interesting and sort of explains the concept a bit more is that Prolog will first to start off it has this goal to achieve so Prolog will set up a marker here on the goal that it's actioning so Alice is now binded to name so it's it's working on this one now and now it's got to start the inner loop so it's got to work on this goal so what Prolog does is the values binded in goal 1 are passed through to goal 2 so think of this as like a pipe and um, Prolog passes through 
the variable bindings that it achieves in this goal. So in this goal we binded Alice to name. So Prolog sends this through a pipe and it goes and visits the next goal because the next goal needs the values obtained or the bindings obtained in the previous goal to derive what uh, what drinks to look up for that certain person so this means that this goal here now establishes um, it now knows what name to look up in the knowledge base so then it starts it sets up another marker at Alice because that's the name that we're looking for and then it starts this inner loop here so then it prints out Alice likes coke okay we're done there and then it will iterate through the next one Alice likes Fanta done and it will iterate through the next one Alice likes Sprite we're done and because we're done here Prolog will be like okay uh, I've exhausted all the facts in the knowledge base that unify with this goal based on the name um, Alice so it kicks back and backtracks back to the first goal so we can just remove this pointer here because we're not doing that anymore so then prologues back into this goal um, so then it goes down and scans the next item or the next fact so in, in this process in the backtracking process any values that were previously binded to name are erased so we can um, assign name a new value so now um, mark is assigned to name and like before we set up this pipe or tunnel leading to the second goal and we've binded name equals mark so we can send this through the pipe to the goal 2 so that they know what name to look up so this is when Prolog then establishes a new marker point it, it scans through the knowledge base to find what drinks does mark like and it runs into here so then it prints out mark likes water and it keeps searching for names that match mark and then mark likes coffee and we've run out of options for mark so we're done here and then we we don't have anything more so we backtrack back to the first goal that means mark is unbinded to the the variable name so name doesn't have any value associated with it so this means prolog can bind another name to it so it moves the marker down to the next uh, fact that unifies with this and then um, now Sally is binded to name so in that case name has a new binding name equals Sally and then we set up this pipe between the two goals so now we're here we go on to this goal and send through any bindings that this goal 1 has through to goal 2 so that they know who to look up to find the drinks that they like and that means it's time that Prolog searches through the knowledge base to find drinks that Sally likes and it runs into this one and consequently it prints out this but since Sally only has one drinks drink that's all that's printed so we kick back to the first goal Prolog looks for more entries or more facts that unify with this but none are found so that means Prolog finishes the whole thing and as a result here are all our entries that are printed to the console so I hope that makes it a little bit clearer on how it all works and uh, yeah thanks for watching